there are a few things that we can definitely take away from this year and that is to definitely stay away from shitty exchanges definitely stay away from a bunch of those shit coins that i've hey basically been warning about here for the last years you know all of that is i think this is also a good moment just to think you know about what have we learned but also to say hey wait a second a new year is about to start bitcoin has just been in an entire year of a bear market and this has happened so many times in the past if we look right over here from 2013 end of 2013 all the way to the start of 2014 this was a bear market and then what we saw here is that the price exactly bottomed out here at the start of a new year very similar to what happened here back in 2017 all the way until the start here of 2019 so end of 2017 or start of 2018 whatever you want to call it to the start of 2019 was exactly a year of a bear market and then we saw the price bottoming out and guess what we're seeing the same thing happening over here again we topped out here around december and we went sideways here i mean we not sideways we went of course to the downside here for an entire year and now we are about to start a new year here again is this going to be the bottom well maybe it is important to think about the fact that here in 2015 we still went sideways for quite a bit you know 300 days here of sideways action before we actually bottomed and in 2019 we didn't really see any sideways action we had a nice move to the upside but after that you know before this whole bull market started off we still went sideways for like 500 days um and you know we still had this march crash of course as well which was like a 50 percent cra uh, 50 percent correction or something like that in a day so many many things still happened here before we eventually started the new bull market and that is not really what i'm looking at right now i'm just kind of generally looking at when is this bear market going to bottom what's going to be the moment here for me to um you know to turn hyper bullish on the bitcoin price to really look for any kind of longs inside of corrections and that is potentially about to happen if we are going to follow the path similar to 2019 where when the new year happened after that we just saw green and green candles following after each other basically all the way here until the summer of that year so for half a year we had pretty much just up only to the upside now even in 2015 even though we went sideways for quite a long time we did see quite a few moves to the upside and some of the moves here for instance this move was about a 50 percent move to the upside so from that over here you know we could see bitcoin rallying here all the way up to about uh, about twenty four thousand US dollar it's not a lot but it's still enough to make here and there quite a little bit of money and at the start of next year i'm going to release my indicator it's right now going to be official it's going to be at the start of next year it's going to be probably the first week of january maybe even on january the first if everything looks quite good the main goal of this indicator is going to be it's going to absolutely change the way i'm going to do analysis it's going to make analysis on youtube a lot more simpler and a lot more fun and entertaining and as well it's going to give you of course a tool to allow to actually analyze the bitcoin price much and much in a much better way you know a lot of people of you guys you've you, have, you guys have been sticking here for quite a long time i know this bear market is tough but i've said here at the start um of this bull market i basically even said man i wish that a bear market was about to happen you wouldn't really expect it because you want the bull market to happen but basically since the start here of this bull market all the way until the top here the only thing people were talking about is things like doge coins and meme coins and nfts and all that kind of crap and a lot of crap has gone to zero but i was quite annoyed by that and i was actually saying on twitter and on live streams and on youtube videos i wish a bear market was here you know the only people who stick around at the bear market those are people who are you know really long-term holders who really care about bitcoin and crypto in general and that is the moment to build new stuff and to actually prepare yourself for the bull market and i enjoy buying these bottoms i enjoy buying into the dips i don't care if it's going to crash much lower i just get to buy lower and lower because this is something that i long term believe in so with that there are still plenty of obstacles here in the way before bitcoin can finally rally to much much higher levels but i'm just preparing myself for the next bull market i'm right now building the tools that will actually allow me to do much much better trades to do much much better analysis and so overall i'm quite excited my excitement level hasn't been this high here since 2019 which i said on twitter now this is something that was quite funny or sad um i, I have kind of a mixed feeling of this but uh, when i saw here well, i saw this post here today on twitter from a guy which has been in a coma for five months and he just woke up only to look at his ftx account and to basically say what the fuck happened to my ftx account and to reply again oh my god so the thing is is that i don't know if it's necessarily funny or it's necessarily sad 
but there's still people which have probably no idea that FTX has collapsed. And there's maybe there's people in coma right now which have been in coma for years, which bought Bitcoin at a lower price. You know, maybe there were some people who bought Bitcoin at 20k only to wake up now and to see that the Bitcoin price is still lower and is still uh, trading at 60,000. Hey, there can all sorts of all sorts of weird um, things can probably happen here still in the crypto space. But why I want to talk about this post is that it reminds me a little bit of some kind of fun tweets people have been posting in the past, where some people have said like, "Hey, I bought Bitcoin at 5,000 US dollar." And then they get into a coma and then 10 years later, they're going to wake up out of the coma and they ask the doctor, how high is Bitcoin? Oh, Bitcoin is trading at $1 million. Bitcoin is trading at $2 million. And this is kind of the thing is that the long-term vision of Bitcoin is that this is, of course, going to be an asset. This is going to go to a million and millions of dollars. Now, maybe it's not going to be this decade. Maybe it's not going to be next decade. But I've always told you guys, if you give the government the ability to print money, they're always going to print more of it. And Bitcoin is finite. I think the best way to make life-changing wealth in this moment in history, it's not really to get a job because your wages are just going to be inflated away. Maybe it is to start a business, but that's quite difficult. I think the most easiest way is to just accumulate Bitcoin. Accumulate Bitcoin at these lower levels and just hold. Don't care. Don't look at the price. Just keep buying and buying these dips. And then over 10 years, you're going to be in a massive, massive profit. It doesn't really matter what is going to happen. It's going to be some kind of a big crash that is going to happen on the stock market or in, in, in global housing markets, there's gonna be some kind of new financial problem show up, and the Fed has always come back and started to print up a bunch of money, and this has always basically resulted in a significant Bitcoin rally to the upside, you know, 100% up to 1,000% rallies. And so I think personally, that is the way to make money. But hey, you're not gonna make a lot of money when you're gonna buy the tops, when everybody's buying. You're not really going to make a ton of money that way. You know, some people have tried, many, many times, and trust me, they have failed many, many times before. The best way to make a life-changing world is, of course, to buy a dip, to buy a panic, to buy when nobody's talking about it, and that is at this correct moment in time. Now, if you don't have any money, it can suck quite a bit. Luckily, for the last few years, I've always told everybody is that don't just go all into Bitcoin, have a cash flow, have some side businesses. You know, I have some cash flow to the side. This is why I can, of course, buy Bitcoin on these lower levels. Now. I'm not a multi-millionaire. I don't make millions of dollars per day or per month or whatever. What are some of these crypto YouTubers, other crypto YouTubers are making? You know, I make a little bit of money here on YouTube. I make some money from other stuff and I'm just accumulating more and more Bitcoin at these lower levels. And so I would primarily say here is that take this as an opportunity. Maybe if you're gonna fall into a coma and you're gonna buy Bitcoin at this level, you're gonna wake up in five years, four years, only to see it being up already at 100,000 US dollar. The best way I think to make life changing wealth is to buy Bitcoin at these lower levels and to just hold for many, many years. I can understand that there's many panic right now in the market. I can understand if you hold quite a bit of Bitcoin, you might think, oh no, this is going to crash lower, it's going to go to 10k. All my life wealth is going to go away. But I think it's especially at the start here of next year, you're likely going to see some kind of a Bitcoin bottom forming. And from that is it likely just going to be a way back to the upside. Again, as I said in the last video, there's going to be plenty and plenty of volatility still in the market. You know, what we saw actually at the start of this this beer, well, what we saw at this beer cycle at the start of 2015, we had one massive big dumper to the downside, which was like a 36% before we actually bottomed out. So that can still be quite nasty. That can still be a scenario that we're going to look at Bitcoin going to 10K, 12K before eventually bottoming out. But I think in January, if we're going to have that crash to the downside, after that, it's just going to be an upwards move here back to the upside. It's going to take quite a long time. You know, next year might just be absolutely horrible, might be absolutely sideways, but that's just going to give a very nice foundation actually to accumulate more Bitcoin. And you're not going to see life changing wealth probably being made, probably not next year as well. I think even if it goes here up to like 30,000, 40,000, it's not going to be enough to make life changing wealth. But hey, if you're going to be able to accumulate at these low levels, wake up in 10 years and you're hopefully going to be quite wealthy unless you keep your coins on a shitty exchange. Now, with that, I want to end this video. Just enjoy the, the, you know, the new year. Don't stress so much about Bitcoin. Try to get some kind of a cash flow. Just get some kind of a job. Even if you don't have a job, you're full time already in crypto. Find some way just to make a little bit of a side hustle. And that is the way that you can actually take advantage of these bear markets. Don't cry about it because they only happen once in a while and they can be over just like that and then you would have missed the bottom and you would have to buy these coins at a much and much higher price. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in my next video. 
拜。